black tank. Almost full. Gray tank one. Full. Gray tank. It says two or three. Full. All right. So I'm going to show you what we have to do with our tanks. The last time we had a live stream on my channel, Thunder Rooster. A lot of people ask what the worst part of RVing is, and this was my answer. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through and show you how we do that. Alright, so this is our wet bay, and right back here is our black tank. So we got everything hooked up over here. Anytime that we were at a place longer than a few days, uh, we will hook our sewer hose up, and that way anytime we're ready to dump our tanks, we just do it. Um, other than that, we usually don't get it out, unless uh, maybe we're going to be boondocking or something and staying in an RV park before that, then we'll make sure our tanks are empty. So, get over here. A little black tank. That runs down here. Now we have a cap on the end so we can see what's going through and also that helps us because when we run our gray tanks that water ends up washing out the hose from what the black tank is. And if you don't know what the black tank is, it's, it's our Cuban waste. <laughs> Our other gray tank is right there, which that one is always, it's a bigger tank plus it's always got a bigger volume behind it. You'll hear the difference in the pressure of the water, but uh, we'll pull that out and we'll drain all that. I'm gonna keep that one closed after it's done. Then the uh, gray tank we're emptying now, I'm going to leave open. That way we don't have to worry about doing showers and that filling up. What's up, little man? Hey. What's going on? We were just waiting on Lynn. Oh, yeah? I don't think she's out yet. Alright. <laughs> Dump the blackberry? Yeah. Yep, doing the gray, the first one. Something else that happened that we didn't get documented. This whole little fender here goes across both tires and the front part of it. Right here. Right here. This screw came out and I tried gluing it with some adhesive, but the wind got the best of it and pulled it out and broke it off right here. So we're going to have to end up ordering that and just replacing it. Hopefully, since it's just a piece of plastic, it shouldn't cost that much, right? Alright. Now, just gotta pull this one. A lot more force than that one. Well, I hope that was entertaining and uh, you learned something. <laughs> but that, to me, is the worst part about RV. And really, if you think about it, it's not that bad. Especially for the trade-off. Get to go all kinds of places, see all kinds of things, and it's really the biggest downside. 
well, I'm sure um, repairs are probably going to be up there, but haven't ran into any of those really. Haven't ran into any of those really. So, I need to knock on some wood. But while I'm on the topic of repairs, there's some things we want to do to the RV. Obviously, the fender part can be fixed later, but while we're stationary for the time being, uh, the struts in our awning are not working properly, so we ended up getting um, the place that we bought this from to get the parts to fix it and then send them to us, or else we would have had to wait until it was fixed and then go on our trip. So. We went for the first option there, and uh, also the lights of the awning go right up underneath there. Uh, they work, they're just off of its uh, track or whatever, so got brand new lights for that to fix, and then, uh, so I'm gonna do the struts, fix the lights, and then also I've got 200 watts of solar that I'm gonna be sticking up on the roof. So. I'm going to have to figure out exactly where I'm going to put those on the roof, which I've got a general idea. I just need to make sure. And then i got to hook up the controller and hoping it's that easy, but I've never done solar before, so we'll see. I'm sure I'll figure it out. With any RV, there's going to be trim and stuff that will randomly come out. Most of it's only staples or small nails, finishing nails. And uh, we got some uh, glue, some kind of uh, strong adhesive, I believe it's like Gorilla Glue type stuff, but I'm going to use that and stick up all that stuff. Outside of that, I don't really, I can't think of anything right now, but I'm sure there's more. Oh, our stabilizers. You guys have seen in a previous video that are middle two stabilizers are no longer working and we got to figure out why that is and hopefully all it is is a reset but I don't know life's been happening and that's been at the least of my worries I mean the other four work so I'm not too worried about it but this is great this is our backyard right now it's a small lake, but it's nice. That it doesn't hurt that, you know, tomorrow's gonna be 75 degrees and where we're from, back in Ohio, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like 30. Good times. And we're all clear. Now I'll just put this back in. And that's that. That's all you gotta do. Go to the jinks, close them back up. You know, something I like about the uh, amount of storage we have underneath the RV is I'm six foot five and I'm sitting down upright and not hitting my head yet. Now, if I go this way or this way, yeah, of course. But uh, you might be asking, why am I down here? Well, our RV is prepped for solar, which means we have uh, solar connectors on the top and it's pre-wired, so they're connected up top already. They come down. It's usually just a ploy to say, you know, all you gotta do is do a quick connect and then you can run solar. But uh, it wasn't honest, so it's not true. Uh, so I am trying to find said wires. I've looked up online in a few cases. I couldn't find the exact model and where it's supposedly at is not where it's supposed to be. What's up, buddy? Can I have these toys? Uh, no, use your toys. They're not real. Are we dumb? Well, your problems with your dump truck you need fixed aren't real either. Hey, as long as he brings them back, I'm fine with it. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, I flipped the camera around. Alright, so this is, uh, 
solar ready plaque. Uh, I was hoping when I unscrewed that it would have been a nice little cutout of where your solar charger is supposed to go and the wires were conveniently there. Uh, they are not. And I'm trying to get behind here, like through here, I tried here, and now I'm moving over here just in case, but you know, theoretically, <laughs> the wire should be behind here, but in looking up from here, probably can't see much right now, but I didn't see them. So, I am on the hunt for these cables. I'm gonna pull this one off and see what's behind here. All right, I got the panels off and, you know, in hindsight, this is probably something I should have done before even purchasing this RV, but uh, I did not. I mean, nothing's, point, nothing's out. It's just, I guess, me, you know, backtracking my thoughts, I guess, and being like, yeah, I probably should have took a look underneath all this stuff here before we bought it. But. You know, it's hard to find the one we want in the price range we needed it to be, and uh, well, the choices were limited. Plus, that's why we got the warranty, I guess. But I'm still not seeing the prominent wires that I need to be finding, so I'm gonna put the phone down and look a little harder. Found our inside filter that the RV place told us we didn't have. It's always best to try and be smarter than what, <laughs> what they are, but it's not always going to work on that, especially if that's their profession, so you can always try. Wife wanted this information now. Oh, that's just good. All right, so I have started working on the solar prep package mostly. Me too. And Noah too. So we're in, here underneath our RV in the storage compartment or life. We like to call it in the RV world, our basement. <laughs> so. But we don't have any, um, but we don't have any dryer or washer. <laughs> not yet. All right, so this came with the uh, wired for solar. Uh, so what it, that entails means it is pre-wired for solar panels up on the roof. So it has a connection so you can just Put your panels up on the roof and connect them and everything's wired already so i removed this and it was completely blank it was like this right so i undid this panel that was right here this panel and our which panel i actually got to it was not a panel at all it was actually our shop back that was right here so I pulled the cover off the shop back, saw that there were screws that I could take it out of the wall, so that's what I did. And uh, so I got back there, and sure enough, so this is the place where it is. You can see it now that I moved the uh, tape, but that little flag thing right here was not soaring in the wind. It was tucked back over here, so this is what I saw, nothing. All wow. those wires you see right there all go up to this. Lovely, right? So, after I cut this little hole, there's nothing here. And I opened up all the stuff looking for the wires. Turns out, it is right here. And they have it looped and stuck to the wall. Which is great, you know, you want to have the wires where you need them, but I couldn't find anywhere that says exactly where the wires are, and they're not directly behind where they place that, this little panel right here. So, it is being held up by one of these, so I'm going to get my screwdriver and unhook that, hey. and see exactly how much wire I have to play with. Uh, I don't have anything special, I just have a charge controller, and two 100 watt solar panels, and uh, as far as I know, all I gotta do hey, is yeah. take these two cords and then pop them in and there's already a fuse that's already sent to the battery bank where all these cords run to. So I'm gonna put it all together and hopefully it works. What's up, buddy? We got some bungee cables. Bungee cables. 
That was our bungee cable. Those are the wires that came with our solar. But yeah, this is what underneath the RV looks like. Ducting, water pipes. Well, they're not pipes, but. All right, so I pulled these out. Uh, it was just being held on by one of these, just by a screw. So I took that off and it's a bundle right here. And uh, you have this marked off with the black tape. This is going to the battery. And then the rest of it is what uh, comes from the roof. Those wires go back there and it goes all the way up to the very tip. Tip top of the roof. So I gotta cut these and get them separated and then start plugging away, I guess. I got all the tools ready. Yeah, pliers. <laughs> you know what pliers are? And when you hold them down, they go open and close it. Uh huh. That's how they open and close. Sure right thing, little fella. Yeah. That's how you fix. Yeah. But right now I'm turning it to the left. Yep. I have to go there and. Okay. So, We're gonna do all kinds of fixing today, aren't we? Yes, you know why? Because we are avoiding nap time by working with Dad. Yeah, then Tiggy, I'm doing some quiet time. <laughs> I have some. Okay, so today we have, we have a problem. We're going to um put our solar panels on. What? Don't talk. I thought you were doing a pretty good job. You wanna, um, so right now we are, um, look at you see, we have problems. We, we fix them. So, today, we are fixing I'm just gonna put this right back on right here. Uh-huh. I successfully put the shop back back in. I probably put that back up and it was that one as well, but I don't think I'm going to yet. I'm gonna make sure everything is how it needs to be before I proceed. But yeah, uh, the kit that we had came with uh, two 100 watt solar panels, this eco-worthy charge controller. And this is supposed to be to the battery, and then your positive and negative wires, which, because we're solar ready, we do not need those. So um, I'll probably hold on to them just in case, because I'm kind of a pack rat like that. But we're planning on uh, extending our solar, so we'll see if I need them. But yeah, um, if yeah. everything goes to plan, all I need to do is get some dye cooler and. Uh, Get the brackets mounted on the solar panels and I'm like gonna pop them up there. We'll see. Solar day two. And the reason why it's day two is because I didn't have everything I needed. And you know, we've all been there. But uh went and got the materials I need yesterday or this morning. And process has begun. Shut off the battery. And uh this must be directly to the battery because it must have bypassed the, uh, the kill switch on the battery. Battery shut off switch. But anyways, I got hooked up to showing what's on the battery currently. I have the solar panels, the wires plugged in for that. But the solar panels aren't up yet. I'm about to get on the roof and put those up there. This was really simple. Found the wires. I stripped the wires on the end, and then crimped the little attachments that came with the charge controller, well, with the kit, and then just screwed them down. Very important to find out which wires go to what. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm going to get the solar panels, put them up on the roof. Y'all know I hate heights, <laughs> but <laughs> it has to be done. Okay. 
It's really windy. I don't know how much my sound is going to be picked up, but I originally thought that this was burnt up in the sun here. <laughs> There's just little covers for them. They're about gone. Got one of those for the positive and the negative. I'm grouping them together with what was provided in the kit. And now I just gotta connect it to that. And that should be ready to go. Now that we have the, uh, the solar panels plugged in, I'm going to make sure this is exactly where I want the panels to be. And then I'm going to die core the bottom of it and then screw them in. Sweat, some tears, not many. Got them plugged in. I might secure the wires, I'm not sure yet. I don't think it's a whole lot to mess with right now. And there should be weatherproof connections here, so. I don't know, it's the first time with this, so we'll find out. <laughs> 